Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We have a quadratic equation and we need to find the roots for this parabola. Now, remember that roots are the same thing as the zeros, which are the same thing as the x-intercepts for our parabola. So really, finding the roots can mean any of these three things because they all mean the same thing. And in order to do that, we need to take this quadratic equation, which is in standard form, and we need to put it into factored form. So we have to change this to factored form. To do that, we have to factor this uh, trinomial. We'll do this quickly. Um, if you need a reminder on how to factor trinomials, then uh, go visit one of my other videos, and you can review how to factor there. So remember, we need to find um, two numbers that multiply to the number negative uh, 28 and add to the number negative 3. So we get the negative 28 here and the negative 3 from here. So we need two numbers that do this. You can go through all of your options to find those numbers. Um, those numbers, I'll tell you, will be negative 7 and positive 4. When we add them, then we get sorry, four, and we get negative three. So when we go over here to factor, we set up our binomial with x minus seven, and then our other binomial with x plus four. Those came from the two factors that we came up with here. And so now we have changed the standard form quadratic equation to our factored form quadratic equation. So now from here we can get the roots for this. Uh, remember, because we're really finding the x-intercepts, to find the x-intercepts we always sub in y equals 0. So if we do that, we're going to get 0 equals x minus 7 and x plus 4. So now we need to think we have two factors here. We have this and we have this part. These two pieces multiplied together have to equal zero. This will only happen when this binomial equals zero or this binomial here equals zero. So our two roots are going to be the x values that will make this equal to zero and this equal to zero. So we can separate these like this. x minus 7 has to equal 0, and x plus 4 equals 0. And now this is a simple one-step equation to solve for x. x here will be positive 7, and x here will be negative 4. So we see how if we put a positive 7 here, 7 minus 7 equals 0. And if we put a negative 4 here, negative 4 plus 4, gives us zero. So these are the two roots for this quadratic equation. We can write them as points and we get that our roots or zeros or x-intercepts are seven, zero, and negative four, zero for this parabola. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.